my self-esteem, even though I was building it up and I lost weight and stuff like that, I'm now around the most uncommon of uncommon people. And I'm like, my God, I'm here. Do I belong here? Do I belong here? So your, your mind has a good way of taking the path of least resistance. Whenever friction happens, friction causes growth. Whenever friction happens, that's why a lot of us don't have any growth because and you quit, you give up. You gotta decide I'm gonna win. You gotta decide that the failure part of carrying failure, you've been exposed to what your life could be. If you fail here, the price is extreme. It's forever. You carry the failure forever. I'm being honest with you. I meet people oftentimes that say, I was in WFG, you really changed my life for this meeting, but, but, but. And they put their heads down. They've been carrying it. They carry it. They see these face holes that have passed that have always believed in you. And you carry them with you everywhere. They're with you anyway. Acknowledge them. If you don't believe that, honor them. Honor God. Honor these people who believed in you with your magnificent life. Honor them. Don't give in to lack of belief, lack of confidence. Don't ever do that again. Don't do it in WFG or out of WFG. You were made to do something great. You're special. You were made in the image of God. Something awesome supposed to happen for you. And those of you that have made something awesome happen, something even more awesome supposed to happen for you. Is the greatest single obstacle to our success is our self-limiting beliefs. Is we believe that we're limited in some way. Um, our friend this morning was talking about the, the fact that each person is a potential genius, that you have genius inside you, that you have unlimited potential, which is what we agree, we, we, we believe passionately. But if we believe that we are limited in some way, it becomes true for us. It becomes our belief. By the way, uh, I didn't do well in school. And before we came here, I was going to do some background checking on the people here. And what I found is that there's a lot of people in this audience who didn't do well in school. Yes. So a lot of people here got lousy grades in school. I was astonished to look at the high percentage. In fact, you could be sitting next to one of them right now. Yes, we know who you are. Now here's the problem, is that if you're told, which I was, and all the time you're going up, they say you have to get good grades or you won't do well in life. You have to get good grades, you won't get into college. You have to get good grades, you won't get a good job, you won't get very well, and so on. They tell you that to encourage you to get good grades. So what if you got lousy grades for whatever reason? Well, now you could be 25 or 35 years old and you don't even try. You don't even try because, hey, you didn't get good grades in school, so you're kind of short of potential. And what we do is we, are, we actually sabotage ourselves. We drive with our foot on the brake of our own potential because we think, well, I didn't really get good grades in school. And then you read the studies and you find that most of the people who got straight A's work for the people who got B's. And the people who got B's work for the people who got C's who own the companies. And the people who own the companies got the money from the venture capitalists, all who got D's in school. You know? And so the grades that you got in school are irrelevant. So um, I would say, you know, one thing I know about you, David, is you are, you're not afraid of anything. He said, oh, I'm afraid of everything. He's afraid of riding a bicycle, and he's afraid of this. He's afraid, oh, he's afraid of ghosts in the night. No, David, you're not afraid of anything. And I say to Barbara, he said, one thing I know about David, he's not afraid of anything. And she said, yes, I am. We drive along. I said, well, you know, I really admire David because he's not afraid of anything. And I would just say this. And I, expectations have an enormous impact on our attitudes. And here's the interesting thing is if you believe you're going to be a great success, you expect everything that happens to be part of the great plan. So if you have positive expectations, like a kid's first Christmas, you're positive all the time. And the key to being positive is to look for the good. Expect good things to happen. We say that whatever you expect with confidence becomes your own self-fulfilling prophecy. Success, guys, a very, very yes, lonely road, constantly man. Pre predicting very few people are willing to endure the, way you think the pain, the sacrifice, the due diligence to be successful. It's an uphill battle. And along that road, you're not going to see too many friends. You're going to see your shadow most often. When everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more, it's a lonely feeling. They look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? It's hard to pick yourself up when you experience setbacks and people don't see the vision. And no one else believes in you. That's going to happen. But we all have a choice. The choice is you can let the outside noise affect you or drive you. What's it going to be? Don't give up. Stay in it. Stay focused. There's been so many times in our lives where people tell you you can't do something. Where would you be if every single time someone told you you can't do something, you listen to them? Oh, you're being unrealistic. You're dreaming. Yes, I am dreaming. So a lot of people have stopped dreaming. Don't you stop dreaming.
It takes guts. You gotta dig down deep and gut it out. Keep on going again and again and again until you make it happen because you know that it's possible. Your self-belief must be our way on this disbelief. Your belief must be so strong that you block out the noise of everyone around you. And all you hear is your internal dialogue telling you, I can do this, I will do this, I must do this. And no matter what it takes, with every fiber of my being, I am going to win. You've got to ask yourself, what's your why? What motivates you? What pushes you? What drives you? And if that thing is internal, if nobody has to call you, if nobody has to prod you, if nobody has to reward you, if nobody has to give you anything, if you are self-motivated and self-regulated, you can have it, you can be it, you can do it. Judge not according to appearances. Don't judge your circumstances and the possibilities for your future based upon what you have now and because of what's going on now. No. No, 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 no. You must have the faith to call forth those things that be not as though they were. And for some of you, you stop dreaming. You dream for a week and you stop because things around you don't look good. You dream for a month and when you get hit in the mouth, you quit and you give up. You dream for a while and when people tell you crazy, when people tell you stupid, and when people tell you can never get done, you stop dreaming and you go back to knowledge. People are going to laugh at you. But let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas. Unquestionably, take that leap of faith. Trust yourself and believe and know within yourself. And don't doubt in everything in you that everything is going to be all right. I dare you to use your imagination. I dare you when you're broke to use your imagination. I dare you when you're rich to use your imagination. I dare you under every single circumstance. Keep dreaming. Keep looking at your dream. You will Keep focusing on your dream. Keep you. going after because the dream because that's what true success in is. In the way that you dream that you would. The pressure in your life right now has a purpose. It's not crushing you. It's pushing what's on the inside of you out. It shows you who you are. It's how you find out what's on the inside of you. You will not be challenged in your convenience. You will be challenged in your chaos. Opportunity comes in chaos. A chance to stand up. A chance to get it right. A chance to make a new turn. What I need you to do is I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know you're strong enough to do it because you're human. And every human has what it takes to get past whatever they're going through. If they decide to push through it, push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. Listen to me very closely. Y'all running from obstacles when in fact it's the obstacle that's gonna take you to the next level. Y'all running from pain. Y'all running from challenges. You telling me how difficult your life is. Do you understand it is the difficulty that's gonna prepare you and take you to that next level? You are going to come up against some moments in your life. I've been there. Somebody told you it was over. Somebody told you that just go home and die. Somebody sent you home. Somebody told you you'll never be a doctor. They sent you home, you failed. They sent you home, law school. They sent you home. Some wife, she told you, that's it. I don't want to be married to you. Some husband, I don't want to be married to you. And he left. Never give up. You don't give up on me. You don't quit on me. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You man up, you woman up, you get your life back. You get your family back. I need mental toughness. And some of you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial, every time you run up against a tribulation, you stop and you cut off beast mode. And what I'm here to tell you is, if you tell that thing, I'm here just like you here. And I promise you, I will not leave without that goal. I will not leave this opportunity until I'm successful. I am not phenomenally skilled, but phenomenally real. I will not give up. I will not surrender. I will not quit. Light is going to beat you upside your head. And I'm going to tell you this, I don't care who you are and what profession you're in. Before you blow up, light will strip you to the core. But if you weep, you will be broke. And I'm not here because I'm the best. I'm here because they tried to break me and they couldn't. I invested too much to quit. 
I made too many sacrifices to give up. And your problem is you're giving up too easy. I need effort from you. I need you to match whatever effort the enemy is putting up. Whoever your enemy is, match the dog on effort. I don't care what the circumstance, I don't care what the situation. We was looking on your back and you like, let's go. When you come up against that thing, you gotta outdo that thing. And you can't do it when you get there. You gotta already make up your mind before you get to cancer. You gotta already make up your mind before you get to that exam and pass that exam. You gotta make up in your mind when you're talking to your husband, when you're talking to your wife, when you're talking to that sickness. You gotta look at it before you even get to it. As long as you got breath in your mouth, don't you ever give up. If you're gonna be successful, in this game, you gotta have a dog within you. You gotta know it's a dog fight, and you gotta go get that fight. Life ain't gonna be easy. Ain't nobody gonna hand you nothing. Stop running from it and run to it. You just say, I'm here, and I ain't going nowhere. No matter how hard it is, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how challenging it is, you gotta believe. When you can't see it, you gotta believe it. You gotta call it when all the odds are against you. Your destiny is in the fire. If you run from the fire, you will run from your destiny. Your destiny is in the problem. Your destiny is in the storm. Your destiny is in the fight. You're not a victim, you're a victor. And the only thing stands between your success, the only thing stands from you doing what you know you've been called to do. The only thing is you. Nobody it's can't so stop you. You're the only person that can stop you. So stop talking like a victim. Stop thinking like a victim. Stop acting like a victim. And walk into your destiny. Walk into it. Your fortress, your story is meant to be your fuel. Get out there. Work. No matter where you are, no matter what you do, no matter what's going on in your life, you still have a chance. Make it count for something. Get it done and conduct your business. I hate Plan B. Everything I ever did, the thing that I heard out of people's mouth was, that's impossible that can't be done, or no. We have so many doubters, the no-sayers. We have so many of those people that say no, and you can't do it, that's impossible. But when you start doubting yourself, that's very dangerous. Because now what you're basically saying is, is that if my plan doesn't work, I have a fallback plan, I have a plan B. You're taking away now that thought and that energy from plan A. So whenever someone said to me, it can't be done, I heard it can be done. When they said no, I heard yes. And when they said it's impossible, I heard it is possible. Because I am a strong believer. I'm telling you, I've never ever had a plan B. I made a full commitment that I'm going to go and be a bodybuilding champion. I made a full commitment that I'm going to be in America. I made a full commitment that I'm going to get in the show business and I'm going to be a leading man. No matter what it takes, I will do the work. And it's very important to understand that we function better if there is no safety net because plan B becomes a safety net. It says that if I fail, then I fall and I get picked up and I have something else there that, was, that will protect me. What is if I fail, then I don't have anything else? Well, let me tell you something. Don't be afraid of failing because there's nothing wrong with failing. So people always ask me, when they saw me in the gym in the pumping iron days, they say, why is it that you're working out so hard, five hours a day, six hours a day, and you have always a smile on your face? Why is that? And they told people all the time, I said, because to me, I am shooting for goal. So every rep that I do gets me closer to accomplishing that goal, to make this goal, this vision turn into reality. Michael Jordan said in one of his interviews, when they said, you are unbelievable, you're the greatest basketball player of all times. And he says, well, you're just mentioning the successes. But he says, for me to become the greatest basketball player, I missed 9,000 shots when I was playing basketball at the NBA games. 
does it make him a failure? No. He's one of the greatest basketball players of all times, but he failed 9,000 times. Do you get it? We all fail. It's okay. What is not okay is that when you fail, you stay down. It's all about the hard work that you put in. When you leave this place, I need you to get in beast mode and stay in beast mode. On three, beast mode. One, two, three. Beast mode. No, come on. One, two, three. Beast mode. Come on. One, two, three. Beast mode. If you wake up at 3.30, some other kid's getting up at 3 and he's got 30, 30 minutes on you today. I need you to do me a huge favor. I need you not only to want to be a beast, I need you to live in beast mode. Because if you live in beast mode, you'll have what other people don't have. Listen to me very closely. Not only will you have what other people don't have, you'll do what other people can't do. So what is it? What is that one thing that you're saying that I am going to get this thing done and I'm gonna make my dreams become a reality? Everyone wants to be a beast until it's time to do a real beast do. Everybody wants to be a beast. Everybody wants to make their dreams become a reality. There's no one sitting in this room who said, I wanna procrastinate. I don't wanna get it done. I don't want to get to the next level. No, every person in this room, not only do you want your dreams to become a reality, you deserve for your dreams to become a reality. This is important. Seasons are always temporary. Say it. Crisis is not a permanent condition. It's just a season. And the key to life is what you have to do is organize yourself to outlast the season, that's all. As long as you're average, you're gonna get what average people get. If you get to that point where you do exactly what you say you're gonna do, you're gonna get to the next level. But no one can do it for you but you. It's not over until I win. Life has taught me. I outlasted the pain.